foreclosed homes in New Bedford on the market after getting a new life, a specific home thanks to federal funds. NBC 10's Bill Rapley joins us live from our New Bedford Bureau with a first-hand look. Well, Allison, this money came from a court settlement that was made with the banks for unlawful foreclosures, creating a fund in the state that the city is also accessing and using it for fixing up homes that have become derelict. This four-bedroom house on Cottage Street looks brand new, and it has had a $215,000 makeover. So Mayor John Mitchell and the state's attorney general, Martha Coakley, are suitably impressed during a tour this morning, prompting Mitchell to quip at the news conference. Martha, we love what you've done with the place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was an abandoned house for four years, an eyesore and a magnet for trouble in this West End neighborhood. It was rescued from dilapidation by a program that uses money the state won from banks after the foreclosure crisis, money that's now helping to restore blighted neighborhoods. But when we can get our neighborhoods back and people care about their neighborhoods, they care about their homes, that's one of our best crime fighting tools actually. This just one of 48 properties in the city of New Bedford that have been fixed up under the programs administered by the state. This is a prime candidate for that kind of rehab because it's so prominent on a corner lot. And it's the kind of program that has spin-offs even on properties that have not been abandoned and are not in danger of foreclosure. The threat of receivership has gotten a lot of landlords in the city to sit up straight and to reinvest in their properties. None of these landlords, even the most recalcitrant, want their properties taken away from them by the state. Now that house is for sale for just under $168,000, but no speculators need apply. It's for first-time home buyers only. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News in the New Bedford Bureau.